Hello everyone, welcome back, hope you're doing absolutely fantastic, and today we're back with another Microsoft Flight Simulator video, and this will be a quick one. Uh, I'm going to be showing you, just in case you don't know how, but how you can calibrate your throttles on the Phoenix A320. If you enjoyed this video, and if it helps you in any way, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, it helps me out a lot, and it also lets me know you guys enjoy the content. So we have it, our throttle right here. As you can see, I can move it. I have a simple um, joystick, and the re the way you can you calibrate this is config, controls, config, and right here. As you can see, using custom throttle profile, so you can clear the calibration if you have one. Uh, so the default throttle. See, I have no reverse. So what you can do is calibrate, max reverse, so with my throttle all the way back, this is what it's going to look like, max reverse, uh, next step, idle reverse, then you're going to move your throttle in real life where you want your idle reverse. So I want my idle right where I'm placing my real life throttle, so next step, idle. A little bit forward. Next step, climb. So the climb detent. And then next step, flex MCT. So full. I want the flex just a little bit before full. And then toga, all the way forward. There we go. Star calibration. So moving my throttle all the way back gives me full reverse. A little bit forward, idle. A little bit forward, I start moving, and then climb, flex, and toga. So all you have to do is move your throttle in real life. It is simple like that. Yes, this is a quick video. I really hope I helped you out. If I did, let me know. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe. And wherever you are, I hope you stay safe, fly safe. Bye-bye.